Welcome to Shanghai Auto Show 2023, the most anticipated auto show of the year, where innovation and technology shape the future of the automotive industry. This year, the fair promises an electrifying parade of electric cars, futuristic concepts, autonomous cars, and much more. In the electric car segment, the world's biggest brands are here to reveal their latest creations. Electrification continues to be the dominant theme, with manufacturers releasing new electric models that promise extended range, fast charging, and exceptional performance. Not only do trams rule the streets, they also promise us a sustainable, low-carbon future. Concept cars, always a highlight of the Shanghai Auto Show, are even more exciting this year. Manufacturers from around the world bring their boldest and most innovative designs, which offer us a glimpse of the future direction of mobility. Expect bold designs, cutting-edge technology, and ideas that challenge automotive design conventions. The self-driving car revolution is also in full swing at this show. Self-driving technology is advancing at an incredible pace, and several manufacturers are ready to show off their latest advances. Get ready to see Level 5 Autonomous Driving, where the vehicle is fully autonomous in all conditions, become an ever-closer reality. In addition, the 2023 Shanghai Auto Show will also showcase a number of other innovations. Expect to see advances in car connectivity, with new infotainment systems and user interfaces that transform the driving experience. Augmented and virtual reality technology is also poised to revolutionize the way we interact with our cars. The Shanghai Auto Show 2023 is a celebration of what is newest and most exciting in the auto industry. It's a glimpse into the future of mobility, where electric cars, autonomous cars, and futuristic concepts show us the way forward. We hope you'll join us on this exciting journey in this video. Hi guys car lovers welcome to our channel, we will be exploring the 2003 Shanghai Auto Show, sharing information about this spectacular event as well as showing you some exclusive photos I received this morning. I look forward to sharing all this with you, let's go to Shanghai Auto Show 2023. Virtually all global car brands are present, and today the Chinese will fire their heavy artillery. They will be showing off their new hypercars, and not just concepts, but also production cars that will be available for order, I will be showing all new items, suitable for all types of budgets. Here they are, the true protagonists of the event. The cars that probably 70% of people came here for today. There are two hypercars from the company Yavin, a subsidiary, which will already be available for order. With an impressive total power of 1200 horsepower, this is the hybrid version, with an engine in each wheel that works as a generator. The car operates purely in electric mode and is capable of lateral movements, like a crab. Most likely, you already know a lot about this car. Its design is remarkable, intriguing and innovative, although we have to admit that some ideas were inspired or we could say borrowed from elsewhere. At first, I thought the interior design would be a bit clumsy, but get this, it's really stylish and attractive. Somehow it even made me want to own one. And what about the wheels? What do you think of them? This car is really impressive. With 275, 50 or 22 wheels, it costs 20,000. Looks like I'm going to make a reservation, I couldn't resist. It was the instrument panel design that sealed my decision. I decided to reserve the U9 electric motor, with one for each wheel and a total power of 1200 horsepower. Acceleration goes from 0 to 100 in less than 2 seconds. And in yellow color, it stands out remarkably. This is a really different car, do you agree? It has a height adjustable air suspension. Clearance is okay, and here is the chassis on which models 8 and 9 are built. I believe that buying something from Lawrencer can only be compared to the feeling of being carried in your arms after a big toast. It's that state of euphoria where you scream with joy and, at the same time, feel as if you've tattooed the mark of that experience on your back. In this same context, Lotus presented its new sports hypercar. With a thunderous 2000 horsepower and a 200 kWh battery, this vehicle is simply stunning. The launch price reflects the grandeur of this car. Apparently, this is the fastest electric car in the world right now. 
Maybe not the ideal choice for hot cities like Shenzhen, but it looks absolutely perfect. Here's a beauty in vibrant red. The company SSR presented its new hypercar with 1200 horsepower and three electric motors, costing 1,600,000 yuan. It is now available to order, with an acceleration from 0 to 100 in less than 2 seconds, 1.9 to be exact. With an acceleration from 0 to 100 in 4 and a half seconds, an autonomy of 80 hours, comfortable sports fit, sensitive brake, closed door and a Dolby Atmos sound system. The interior is lined with faux leather, but it is quite soft and comfortable. The sporty fit is excellent, and there's plenty of legroom, especially for the right knee. The choice of colors is very good and the display is charming. Amaltro Lugar, a Beijing corporation eat suas divisos de bicicleta exibaram um sedan wido interessant. Ainda neo hom wida informacos sobre ele, maso que chama a atan ko a a sua tila transparent neo, neo a um holograma, a uma tila physica. Paris K a controlada por um touchpad. A como tomar uma zikra de cha sabuma lampada, circado por muita madeira. Realmente intrigante. Eight agora, neo consigo entender. Sim, o acabamento interno, Paris Barado, lembra, o que vimos em caras de cherry, o ugili. O painel de instrumentos e de plástico macio, mas ha características de luxo, como assentos com massa jam, ventileco e aquecimento, que tamba mesteo presents nos assentos traseros. A seguir, timos o modelo sedan, 2.7. A um grande sedan, com 5.200 mm de comprimento, portas automaticas e freios brembo para lidar com, so 700 cavalos de potencia. A bateria, tem 150 kilowatts hora. Again, we see finishes in a yellowish hue, but with the same comfort features, massage, ventilation, heating. In general, they have a good concept, despite the interior finish that harks back to brands like Kia, Mazda, and Honda. In fact, I would say that a Volkswagen Passat could have a better finish. However, the inclusion of double glazing, comfortable armrests, and a tiltable screen in the rear seats are positive aspects to highlight. And here it is, a huge glass roof. Yes, you can see that they skimped on finishing. Now the third car, the Y6, is slightly smaller than the Y7, but overall, all three models are powered by the same engines, boasting 700 horsepower, four-wheel drive, two electric motors, and the choice between a battery of 100 or 150 hours. What do you think? I believe it would be worth saving on interior trim to get such sporty performance. Spank presented its new crossover, the G6. The G6 is pretty big, at 4,750mm long, 1920mm wide and with a wheelbase of 2,890mm. It is 486 horsepower and the battery will likely be between 90 and 100 kilowatt hours. The internal finish is in microfiber or some similar material, very pleasant to the touch. The screen has excellent color reproduction and the space is sufficient. The design is interesting, with ample space in the back, and it even has an adjustable spoiler. Hi-Fi, a subsidiary of the same company, has released an impressive crossover and bicycle. Some still haven't opted for the X model as it's too long and not everyone needs a third row of seats. For these, they present a mid-size crossover with two rows of seats, the Model 39 to 100-115, which features state-of-the-art technology, air suspension, automatic doors, and advanced software. Here we have, derived from the F7 crossover, the same instrument panel design. We got to see how impressive it looks, and the screens are really cool. And here too, I understand it's faux leather, but just like the L9, it's a very soft, high-quality faux leather. According to the seat technology, I'm told it's genuine Napa leather. Behind, I see a lot of space, and there is a screen, but no curtain. In general, the trunk is roomy, I believe it is at least 500 liters. The car still has an 85 kWh battery and 300 horsepower. For those not in the know, they did the same as Lexus did to Toyota. They took a Volkswagen ID.4, 
added a few things here and there, and ended up with a mind-boggling combination of plastic simulating wood. No, it's plastic. The fourth screen looks old-fashioned, as if they've incorporated the same element into a different design. This little slow cart is reminiscent of the Geely finish. This is a total scam, a cheap imitation. I will never review this car, it's just a disgrace. Someone must have thought, well, it's an Audi, so it probably has some quality. However, I bring sad news, this is not true. This vehicle is sold for an exorbitant price. The Avatar 11, for example, the same size and sporty, costs less than half the price of that car. But now we have something more interesting. Depending on the truth, a battery of 100 kilowatts and, I believe, 500 horsepower. When it's available for test drive, I'll definitely check it out right away. The company has launched a new electric vehicle, called the S7, a small crossover. I see it has these headrests that look like they're made of semolina, with built-in speakers. Geely has launched a new project, called Galaxy. Here is a plug-in hybrid with a 1.5-liter turbo engine, plus an electric motor and an 18-kilowatt-hour battery. With a small 60-liter fuel tank, the company claims this car can travel 1,300 kilometers on a full tank and fully charged battery. The interior is made of high-quality faux leather. The difference between the feel of this material and real leather is almost imperceptible. I believe the price will be interesting. What do you think of this bike? The model from Geely is called Jimmy 9 Hours Battery 40 horsepower $8,000 with a duck ride for beer 200 km supposedly will pass in an economy cycle and here is the duck and everywhere ducks 8 and he is in blue at the same time Geely showed the concept sports sedan also most likely by the way in all auto salons so the car is turned upside down. Geely's model is called Jimmy. With a battery that lasts 9 hours and power of 40 horsepower, it retails for $8,000. Ideal for a trip to the local brewery, the vehicle is capable of covering 200 kilometers on an economy cycle. Geely also showcased a sports sedan concept that, in many auto shows, is displayed upside down. These are authentic cars, presented as high-tech, low-cost vehicles. They're fast, equipped with impressive displays and an average quality interior finish. Depending on the model, the top versions come with a good finish, but are still accessible, aimed at a young audience. The Sino-Swedish company Link & Co. presented its 08 model, which is a hybrid. According to the manager, for the maximum configuration, the price will be around 500000 all in all, it's a serious car for those who don't need the 09 model, which is longer and has three rows of seats. I present to you the Zero Oido, a mid-size crossover that will be available for purchase next summer. Its design is quite intriguing. For those unfamiliar, drones are now a reality in Shenzhen, where autonomous public buses are already in circulation. The company hasn't had the opportunity to show its new sports sedan yet, but once they do, they will immediately launch a sporty version called the GT. With a weight of 2,200 kg and a 78 kWh battery, this vehicle accelerates from 0 to 100 km per hour in 3.7 seconds. Its great differential is the gigantic screen that offers excellent color reproduction. However, the 78 kWh battery leaves a little to be desired, but its affordable price makes up for this negative point. Rear space isn't ideal, but that's understandable for a vehicle of this size. There isn't much news yet, but it's worth mentioning that the main European crash test publishes a list of the cars that receive the maximum scores in the crash tests on YouTube every year. Surprisingly, the Gato outperformed everyone in its class, surpassing the named competitors. Who would have thought that the Chinese would produce the safest car on the market? It positions itself as the leader in New York and is a direct competitor to the L9 Hybrid, which is 5,150 meters long and has a 45 kilowatt-hour battery. The L9 has a little more power, with 520 horsepower and accelerates from 0 to 100 km per hour in 4.9 seconds. Although it does not have air suspension, its adaptive dampers are of high quality. 
The display inside is impressive and the overall finish is comparable to the L9. Let's take a look inside. The L9 features high-quality, synthetic leather. Space is ample, similar to the L9, especially in terms of knee room. The distribution of the rear space was well-planned, providing plenty of comfort. And if you missed the screen on the L9, here it is, it's there, and it also has a windshield projector. Today Boya showed its model Chase and Light. We've had the opportunity to look at it before, as we've had access to early test drives. If you want to know more about him, check out our channel. Do you remember what the original concept was like? The final version is not exactly the same, but it has retained the body silhouette. Now, let's take a look at the concept that will go into production soon. It appears to be an elevated SUV, with the ability to climb at least 4 inches. Leaving the body silhouette as it is seems to be a very promising concept. The designer of this simple concept, Chase and Light, started out as a talented young man who drew the concept as if he were painting an apple from a distance. Of course, he wasn't alone in this process, he was part of a team. We already know the price of the Mentor Hero Hypercar, 1,600,000 yuan in the maximum configuration. It has 1,000 horsepower, 4 electric motors, one for each wheel, and a 140-hour battery life. It is a purely electric vehicle. Let's take a look inside. Despite the lighting being a bit dim, I'll try to convey as best I can, the finish is of a high quality, with sufficient cabin space and wood accents. Note the wide armrest, I'm seeing a projector on the windshield, and if I understand correctly, the back is adjustable. Recently, a new Chinese car brand has emerged called a car. For now, all we have is a concept, but they promise a production model will arrive next year. They're already making big promises, so let's wait and see what they manage to deliver. The iCar GT is just a concept, but Cherry is seriously considering starting series production. After all, iCar is a real new brand for the Chinese manufacturer who wants to start making noise. Especially because, in addition to the GT, the Zero 3 was presented and an electric SUV in the style of the Ford Bronco that seems to be ready for production. What did you think of Shanghai Auto Show 2023? Leave your opinion in the comments below, leave your like, activate the bell, and subscribe. Thanks for watching, see you in the next video.